Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me for this Rainbow Carrots tutorial. This is the second in a series of fruit and vegetable paintings that I will be sharing on my channel. Last week I shared a juicy orange slice and next week I'll be doing the beets followed by the lovely lemon branch. So let's get started on the carrots. <laughs> of these carrots were painted all in one go, wet and wet, using colors I mixed from my basic palette. I'm using cold press paper for this project and I painted everything all together, um, minus the leaves. And I'm painting this carrot on the left with a mid-range orangish yellow color using some warm color tones. I'm adding a deeper red color for the tips and wherever the shadow side would be. And since it's next to this middle carrot, the shadow would be on the inside being uh, cast by that um, middle carrot or just blocking the light from uh, the side. So I'm adding a little bit of that deeper color along the top and the sides there. And I'm working quickly because I'm going to paint the other two carrots while the paper is wet, creating an intentional blurred line between them. Now I'm just dry brushing a little bit those little root tendrils on the dry paper. For the middle carrot I mixed a purpley brown color and again adding that to the wet paper. I'm starting on the edges and just letting it flow towards the middle to create a natural highlight like I did on the first carrot. And I'm using a little bit of that red tone to uh, tap between the two carrots to help encourage more of a flow of color between them. The final carrot I'm painting in a lighter yellow color. It's still on wet paper. And again, I'm just adding it to the outside edges and letting it flow towards the middle to create a lighter area for more of a natural highlight. And again, using that deeper red towards the bottom just to create a variation of color and shadow. And a little mid-range orange as well. using that same color to merge the middle carrot with that yellow carrot, again to encourage a flow of color between them for more of a modern interesting look. I'm adding a little bit more of that burgundy brown color as well, just to make it a bit darker and uh, yeah, just a bit more contrast um, of the lighter color and the shadow color. I'm also painting the little root tendrils on dry paper, just like I did with the other two carrots. While the paper is still slightly damp, I draw some soft little lines. Next, for the tops of the carrots, I mixed a warm green tone, and I'm painting this on dry paper, and I'm using just the tip of my brush to paint some little uh, 
leafy shapes without trying to be too exact or uh, make it look too fussy. But first I'm painting the, um, I guess the center part of the leaf stalk. <laughs> Don't know what you'd call it. But yeah, I'm just tapping my brush onto, um, you know, outward from those stalks and just trying to make it as loose and easy and unfussy as possible. To speed up the footage a little bit, the next two carrots I'm pretty much just doing the same way. I mixed a deeper green color to do a second layer over the top of the first, just to give it a little bit more dimension and interest. I'm pretty much just repeating the same type of strokes using the tip of my brush to create the little leafy shapes off of those stalks. And that's pretty much it for these easy carrots, and I hope you give this project a try. By the way, if you'd like to print and trace this design along with all the other projects in this series, just click the link in the description and I will email you a link to access them for free. I'm continuously adding to this line art library and you'll have access to all of them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more watercolor tutorials. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you next time.